Happy Friday the 13th, Bulldog Nation. You're watching Eric Dieter's World News with Jamie Spinley. The latest world headlines. Russian President Vladimir Putin warned the West against provoking Ukraine with long-range missiles that could strike Russian territory. Speaking in St. Petersburg, Putin emphasized that such actions would be considered direct involvement by NATO in the Ukraine conflict, potentially escalating the situation. Russia has revoked the accreditation of six British diplomats accusing them of espionage and involvement in efforts weaken the country. The United Kingdom Foreign Office dismissed the allegations as unfounded whilst it was revealed that the diplomats had already left Russia weeks earlier. The move further strains relations between Russia and the UK, heightened tensions. In other news, for the first time since 1950s, China plans to raise the retirement age in response to its ongoing population and growing strain on pension funds. The new policy approved by top legislates will see the retirement age for women in the blue-collar jobs rise from 50 to 55 and for white-collar women from 50 to 58. Men will also see an increase with their retirement age moving from 60 to 63. And thousands of Peruvians gathered in Lima to pay tribute to former President Alberto Firmino, who passed away at 86. Firmino, who had been in prison for corruption and human rights abuses, remains a popularizing figure in Peru. Long lines of mourners formed outside ministry where his body was laying in state, reflecting his complex and controversial legacy in the nation's history. That's all I have for today. I'll be back Monday. Have a fantastic weekend and don't forget Freedom Fest.